And as we mentioned earlier this week, according to a recent study, eight in 10 dioceses in the U.S. receive formal applicants for religious life who have student loan debt. And one Catholic group is trying to help. The Labore Society takes those who wish to enter religious life deal with student loans. In around two decades, thanks to the Labore Society, 400 people have raised around $11 million to pay off student loans. We turn now to Father Daniel Bowen, the Vocations Director for the Mercedarian Friars. Father, great to be with you today. So tell us, how did you hear about the Labore Society? Actually, I met them at a uh, National Catholic Vocations Director gathering, and they had uh, there, I struck up a conversation with one of their representatives, uh, Justine Bojan, and uh, that's how it all started. That's wonderful. For those who may not know, you know, give us an idea of the need for vocations right now. Yeah, I, in the church these days, all the vocations are down in the sense of marriage or even consecrated religious life, priesthood. And there's really that need for people to come aboard and answer that call that God puts on the hearts of so many. Um, the challenge can, of course, be there can be uh, things that might keep them from being able to answer that call. And what advice would you give to someone who's discerning um, but has the roadblock of, say, student debt? Don't let that be a no or a stop sign. Uh, speak with your vocation director, your spiritual director. Um, there, there's ways and avenues that God will provide. If God wants it, again, we believe, right, in miracles, and he's the God of, of making possible what seems impossible. Yeah, and sometimes it's scary for people, right, to ask for money, intimidating. Um, how can that be overcome? Well, absolutely. Uh, especially uh, if we're talking uh, student loan debt, something like that. Maybe you, you've set out in a course in one direction, but God suddenly says, hey, I've got something else for you. Uh, th there are places and people that are willing to give that hand to, the, uh, to an individual that, that you know they may not be aware of, that a vocation director or, or a spiritual uh, director may have a connection with. So definitely you, you don't bring it to prayer, but then also bring it to an individual that actively uh, works in vocation um, religious vocation uh, work and discernment. Father, in doing, you know, let's say this uncomfortable work of asking for money and in the delay of not being able to enter a community right away because of that, um, do you think that can bear any spiritual fruit during that time? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. Uh, and again, it's sort of a testing of the vocation. It's helping God to kind of give you your stronger legs, you know, to, to be able to speak about your call to other individuals and to let them know that call to a person is, you know, to yourself. But again, we are all within a family, right? Uh, by God's design, it's all about relationship. And so besides just, you know, it's not just asking money. It's about helping people to uh, support and encourage your vocation, but to bring them on board, you know, because you don't, it's not like you're going to disappear off the face of the earth. You're going to be a summons to be a person for others. It's a laying down of your life for others. And to, to help them to, uh, to come aboard on that is, is a wonderful thing. And the library society particularly uh, gives uh, training and formation more than just cutting a check or asking for money. Uh, because it's more than just that. Father, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us and about these experiences. We appreciate it. God bless you. You're most welcome. Thank you. God bless you as well.